Hey guys, Jason here. This week I bring forth to you today a shred lesson. And this is all about lead guitar, shredding, speed picking, and playing fast guitar solos. So we're going to go over that last little piece that I played at the end there. By the way, I just make these things up kind of on the fly. So if I messed up, forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, we're going to go over that last little piece there. And I'm going to break it down and then we'll talk about it after the lesson. So here we go. guys that wraps it up for our metal shred lesson and again this guitar lesson was all about speed it's all about playing fast guitar solos and the primary technique we're using is speed picking it's just alternate picking at an extremely fast rate so let's go over a few tips for this uh, this particular exercise first of all and I'm going to contradict myself real quick here we're talking about playing fast but if you're just starting out with speed picking and, and playing fast guitar solos, or maybe you're a great guitar player, you're advanced, but you have trouble in this one particular area. If you're in that bucket, then I want to encourage you just to slow it down, start a little slower and allow yourself time to build up speed. You know, part of that is just learning the notes. You know, you learn the notes, you become comfortable with the pattern and, you know, make sure you hone in on that connection between both hands, that mental connection, and just allow yourself the time to, to gradually build up speed. It's like anything else, the more you practice, the better you will get. And I promise if you practice, you will indeed get better. So another tip, and this is more of a personal preference for me. Um, I tend to use my neck pickup whenever I'm playing fast guitar, guitar solos. I like to use the neck pickup, neck pickup a little more. Um, this is my ESP M1000 Deluxe. I love this guitar. Uh, at any rate, I feel like using that pickup, and again, it's just my personal preference, my own opinion, uh, I feel like that this gives the notes a little bit more beef, and it also adds a little bit more clarity. And when you're playing fast, it's very easy to lose that clarity. It's very easy to, you know, to accidentally have a muddy sound. So I tend to use that, that net pickup on a lot of my fast playing. And lastly, and I know I say this on pretty much every guitar lesson video I put out there, I want to encourage you to, yes, learn my pattern, learn the notes, but make it your own. You know, add notes to it, take away notes from it, add your own flavor to it, and make it your own. You know, the point I want to make with my videos is I give you a guide, I give you a starting point. So I want you to grasp the concept, grasp the techniques, you know, get good at those, but then I also want to help you enhance that creative side, which we're musicians, all of you guys have that. But I want to help enhance that a bit more. So as you're learning, as you're going through these lessons and, and getting better at the techniques and practicing, you're also enhancing your own creative abilities by branching out and making the pattern your own. So on that note, guys, I just want to say thank you for all of your support. And I will see you on the next video. Keep it metal.